Last Saturday, Hamas caught Israel off guard. It launched attacks from ground, water and air. But that was the only day it had the upper hand. In the last one week, Gaza has been reduced to rubble. Israel has gone all out. It has vowed to wipe Hamas off the face of the earth. A ground offensive is imminent. Things have gone out of Hamas's hands. Is it failing to finish what it started? Is this the end of Hamas? Earlier today, Israeli military dropped thousands of leaflets over Gaza. Evacuate your homes immediately, read the pamphlets. They prompted Gazans to flee south, but Hamas is asking them to stay put, to stay on their land. Residents are moving south regardless. They were seen carrying their belongings and fleeing. A Hamas spokesperson called on Arabs everywhere to support the people of Gaza. He urged Egypt to move to the border. But are his pleas of any use? None of the Arabic countries have so far come out to help. They would help the people of Palestine, but they are not backing Hamas. On the battleground, at least, Hamas stands alone. Israel, on the other hand, has superpowers backing it. The United States has pledged full support, which is unconditional. American warships have arrived in Israel. So have aircraft and reportedly $2 billion worth of munitions. The United Kingdom, France, Germany and Italy have also backed Israel. Israel has created a unity government. It has also amassed 300,000 reservists. What does Hamas have? How will it hold ground? What is left of Hamas? So many of its militants have died. Well-known Hamas cleric, while Al-Zard was killed in an Israeli airstrike in Gaza. His son was killed a few weeks ago during border protests along the fence. Hamas's minister of economy, Jawad Abu Shamala is also dead. The bodies of Hamas fighters were strewn on the streets of kibbutz. Israel says at least 1,500 of them have been killed. According to analysts, from half to around a third of Hamas's elite commander force has now been killed. The Israel Defense Forces claim they have taken almost full control over its border fence. You see, this is what terror groups do. They shoot and scoot. When you attack someone, they will come after you. But Hamas wasn't prepared for it. Did it really not see this coming? We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.